Welcome, Richard Knutson here. And um, if you uh, didn't manage to get into the live meeting on time, um, but are now listening to the recorded part of this, I apologize profusely for the uh, apparent URL um, glitch in the emails that went out. Um, we'll uh, try to do better about that next week. But anyway, um, it's uh, this is session two, and again, the, uh, don't worry about the, the color scheme here. These will get easier, the slides will get easier to read once I advance past this first one. But this is what's new in Dynamic CRM 2011. And in session two, we're going to talk specifically about Salesforce automation. So let's, uh, let's leave that slide behind us and get on to something that you can actually see. Uh, so Richard Knudsen, I'll be your, your tour guide and... and uh, you know, general uh, dynamic CRM huckleberry uh, for the day. Um, I uh, run the uh, CRM practice at Magenium Solutions. And for those of you that have known me for a while, and if certainly if you were here in the session a couple weeks ago, it'll be the second time you've heard me say that. But um, I was just um, sharing with a couple of the attendees before the meeting started that I'm in now, now in my third week of uh, employment here at Magenium, and I'm you know, still gainfully employed, so, so far so good. Um, this is session two of the series, of the series, What's New in Dynamic CRM 2011, and barring unforeseen changes, we'll do these every other week on Thursdays, um, and um, each time what I'll do is I'll record these sessions, and I'll write little covering articles that go along with the recordings and post them on my blog, so that's uh, dynamicserumtrickbag.com, and my contact information. Richard Knutson at Magenium.com. So without fur further ado, let's dive in um, to what we'll talk about today. So I took a functional approach to this. Um, there's so much new stuff in Dynamic Serum 2011 that it's not really practical to do just one big, you know, what's new session. So I'm uh, slicing the, the newness in some different ways, and this is sort of the uh, the Salesforce automation slice. So I want to talk about some of the uh, what I would consider foundation um, enhancements that will not not exclusively be used in sales, but that are, will be particularly useful um, for the sales applications of Dynamic CRM. All callers are muted and they can unmute themselves. All callers are muted. And then I'll talk about dashboards and reporting. This is obviously the kind of highly visible kind of, uh, you know, what passes for sexiness in the, uh, in the new release. And it is uh, it's very, um, very cool. It's, there's, there's a lot of stuff there. And I want to try to give you, uh, give you some background and grounding in that and give you a feel for how, how you can take advantage of that. Then there's a brand new area, not quite as, as visible, not quite as upfront as the dashboards and reporting. But from an organizational standpoint, probably you know maybe even more important is this metrics and goals area. And um, it took me a while to wrap my you know, brain around that. Not that it's completely wrapped around it yet, but I want to give you some background in that. I think that's going to be a, a really important thing, especially probably especially for sales. Um, I want to talk about that. And um, the the sort of the underlying theme of all of these sessions is how these new features are going to impact your CRM, so I'll, I'll kind of leave you with some thoughts about the kind, the, the, sort of the planning uh, issues that you want to take into account when you're thinking about these new features and how they're going to impact things for your organization. So, the foundations piece, and this is far from a comprehensive list. There, again, so much new that's kind of, you know, this, to some extent there's some arbitrariness or at least editorial judgment in picking these topics, but here are the ones that I kind of assigned to the foundations category, at least for this week. You can assign records to teams now. Previously, you know, we could only assign records to users, um, and organization records couldn't be assigned to, you know, could just would just be organizationally owned, but now um, we can actually assign a record to a team, and that has applications widely all across Dynamic CRM, but especially in sales, and I'll go through some of the scenarios for that. The second point here, you can put any record type into a queue, and that's an important one too. What that means is that, um, you know, for example, leads, 
can use cues now. We didn't used to be able to do that. I'm going to show you how to take advantage of that. Um, again, I'll, I, I, this is a, a, a underlying theme of all these presentations is how how productive the, the, the sort of the inline charts and visualizations and dashboards are. I'll show you a couple more examples of that. And one of my favorite small features, the fact that sales literature is now actually useful. You can attach it to an email. I'll show you some examples from the Outlook client with that. Show you an example of role tailored forms that are now built into dynamic CRM. So you don't have to write code to present different versions of a form to different users. And I'll, sp I'll spend a little bit of time with that today. I'll sp we'll spend more time on that in uh, some of the customization sessions, actually show you how to do it. Here I just want to show you how it works. A couple things about this. I, I don't have slides on all of those. In the demo, I'll show you them. But I just want to pick out a couple of things for slides. Um, it's, it's worth spending a little bit of time thinking about how lists and charts work together. This is one of those things that's so different from the way you're used to working in dynamic CRM. Um, it's, it's not intrusive. You can ignore it the way the UI is designed. It, it actually fits in pretty nicely. But if you start to get a feel for what this is, I think, especially maybe in the sales area, this can be really useful. Every list has a chart area. You can expand it or not. And the view that you're on will automatically refresh the chart. Then there's this filtering feature, and I want to just kind of review that a little bit too. You can filter a list using a filter button on the command bar, but you can also drill down on a chart to filter. And I'll show you how to do that. A little example, you can sort of see it here. If you just navigate to any list, say pick on the accounts um, Entity. If you navigate to the accounts entity, you're going to see the account list there. But you've got this little chart area. You can see that you can expand it or contract it. Um, and the list of charts that are going to be available there will be the system charts. Those are the built-in ones. You can add those, add to those if you're a system administrator. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do something, some interesting things with this. To me, th this does let you do some things. It, it lets you do some things easier in Dynamic CRM 2011. Um, than just working with the just the data alone that you have in CRM 4. I'll, I'll show you that. Um, this is just a quick slide on sales literature. I know this, is, this probably seems like a trivial thing, but I can already tell that this is going to be one of those little trivial things that, for me anyway, I'm going to use this all the time. Um, this is the CRM 2011 beta of the Outlook, the, the CRM Outlook client. And I find this is where I've used this the most. You can just see I'm just sending an email here. And once you've got an email that's tracked in the Outlook client, you can see that you can, there's some things here that you couldn't do before. I can insert templates. So you can use templates from CRM to generate the text of an email. You can include knowledge base articles. And you can directly attach sales literature. And these sales literature records attached to an email work the way you'd hope they would. That is attaching, say, the PDF or the Word doc or whatever it might be um, that's attached to that. And I'll, I'll show you how that works. I'll show you in the demo 